Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We're at an auction. Here at an auction. I don't know if that, I don't think that. Uh, well, let's just walk around. At an auction, early morning. I think it's going to be really crowded. Um, it was advertised as having a lot of really decent stuff, so. Yep, yeah, this is a parking lot. Um, but yeah, we'll look around, see what's here. lock it so next person can probably just pick it up and see what's in there I just closed the one thing and so that's an old tool the heck is that thing for you is that a nail puller maybe this is neat too It's not just all tools, I mean, there's older stuff as well. Love that peanut jar. Usually these things are chipped. Yep, it's chipped. Chipped on the bottom one. That's the problem. All these glass jars, all these peanut jars seem to always be chipped. For all the gamers out there, you want to pause that and look at all these. It's all blurry. I don't really recognize. There's three Donkey Kongs. The rest are really sports games. growing. I paid 25 bucks for this, but this thing is absolutely loaded with stuff. I mean, it's got to be, I'd say, at least $100. That's why it's not loaded. It's got to be at least $100 with the punches and stuff in here. I've got to unlock it to show the top one. There's a lot in here. And a machine box, but 25 bucks. Oh, it's a Kenny. It's a good one. And I paid like a dollar for all these boxes. These boxes don't need those. added a box of wrenches for two and a half dollars. Look at all these small wrenches. I don't even think I have any small wrenches like this. I'm gonna have to go through all these because it looks like it's a mix. You've got some, oh that's Mac. Well there you go, exactly. I don't want to be, there's probably some Snap-on here. Mac is a little bit lower than Snap-on, but I like Mac. 
uh, people are wondering, like, how to, like, I don't know. Like, how do these wrenches feel? They actually feel a lot better when you use a good quality wrench. It's kind of weird. But for $2.50, I mean, this is a steal. Uh, picked up this for $2.50. A bunch of Allen keys in there. Look at all these bottles. Love it. For a dollar, I got three boxes of stuff here. Nice cobalt blue. Can't beat it. All right, the, uh, the box lock guy struck again. I got all that stuff that's in the corner. I gotta remember what I bought over here. Oh yeah, I bought that lot, this lot, and that lot. So I'm gonna try to consolidate into one lot. So it makes it a lot easier. I mean, this whole lot for a dollar, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. It's the way to buy. I bought this lot mainly because there's a couple nice bottles in here. You got some stoneware. Um, this had some vintage stuff down here, but I don't think it's really worth much. Party spreader. A well, whole set. Was it made in Japan, probably? It is. Yes, it is. It's kind of cool. Executive award. That was a dollar at one point. I don't know what this is. It looks like a makeup thing. No. Ooh. <laughs> That's a great one. Key to the boss's toilet. What's the key for this theory? The boss's toilet. For me? The boss's toilet. The boss's toilet. Oh, <laughs> God. Number one, four, two. Try to consolidate my junk. There you go. Anybody buy the piece? Or anybody give me five hours a piece? Five hours. Don't put your stuff on my stuff because then all of a sudden I think this is my stuff. I bought this box for a dollar, thinking, oh, it's great stuff. Flip it over. Womp. Big old hole. I saw this and I was like, oh, it's five bucks. This is a stupid thing. It's like I bet if I take away this thing, it's gonna sell better. It's gonna sell for more money. But then you get rid, you get rid of the lid. It's like one of those things, you add something that's broken. It's kind of like when you bring kitchen sets. If you have a kitchen set for seven, it's better just have a kitchen set for six. It sells better. It sounds stupid, but it's better. Same like if you have like extra dishes, then people want a set for eight. You know, if you have one extra dish, just get rid of the dish, have a complete set. It's a weird concept, but it works. Pattern, how about five and go on that? I know anybody did five, five, pretty good five, pretty good five. Nobody needs to uh, have a party and serve some stuff in a vegetable team. How about two and a half? All these two and a half are presidential and a half, spoons. Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, five, 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 two and a half, five, two big five, two fifty five. Lincoln's so Gettysburg speech. One, two, five, one, two, five. Uh, collector spoons. I actually really like this candlestick also. All different kinds, turn it over. How about... Five dollars ago on that whole tray of collector spoons there. Five and a half. Five. Alrighty, so I just made it back. I spent a whopping $64 today. The most expensive thing I bought was definitely that machinist box. I really, if I looked more carefully, so that was the first item to sell on the whole day. And it was in a row of box lots. So they did the tools and then they did the box lots right at the beginning. Um, so it was on top of the tool box lot row, if that makes sense. And what happens is you kind of can choose whatever you want. So he'll start the auctioneering, the auction, whatever you call it, chant or whatever. And he'll say $10 a box, and then you bid against other people, and you can choose whatever box you like at whatever you bid. So you don't know if they're bidding on the same box. You don't know if they're bidding on a different box. Essentially, if you know exactly what you want to bid on something, and you're not going to play the game of, oh, I can get it cheaper by waiting and doing all this, you get the box that you want. And if somebody outbids you, well, then you just got outbid, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but... That was the first thing I bought, and that's up front. Uh, been kind of fired up here, so I'll say this. If you guys are kind of new to auctions and in-person auctions, just be very, very careful. Uh, this is, it's kind of a trick some auctioneers do, and not all auctioneers do this, and there's a lot of different tricks. I, I might even do a whole video on tricks of deceiving 
and unethical things that auctioneers do because I know a lot of people out there are kind of nervous and hesitant and there's a lot of bad rep for auctioneers uh, generally. Like a lot of people think that they're liars, they're cheats, they'll steal from you. I think there's a lot of auctioneers out there that are ethical and do it the right way. I've been doing this for like six years now, seven years now. And I can tell you right now, I've definitely eliminated a lot of auction companies that have done really sleazy things. Uh, this one, I wouldn't say it's really sleazy. It's kind of like a trick they do. It is unethical. I don't like it. I don't condone it. And I have caught auctioneers in the past doing it on camera. And I've kind of like deleted those clips out because I'm like, I probably shouldn't include that. Um, and I can understand like if somebody makes a mistake, that's one thing. But a lot of companies do this nonstop. And one thing was this box here. I think I paid $5, but or maybe I paid 10 bucks. But here's how it went down. He was asking $5. Three people raised their hand at five bucks. Rather than say, all right, do you want to go seven and a half or do you want to go $10? After taking that first bid, he went five, 10, 15, and he was asking for 20. And the person who was at 15 said, no, 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 no. I wasn't at 15, I was at five bucks. We all raised at the same time. And he's like, all right, well, I had $10 there. And he took my bid for 10 bucks, but I was raising my hand at five. So he kind of just, it's not even doing it fast. It's more like, it's kind of a sleazy way to kind of just run up the, I guess the bid. And some auctioneers do that. And the reason why they do that is because if they're trying to get to like something like $80 and they know it's like something that should sell for $80 or $100 or $150, they might just do it quick. So they start bouncing around really quick. But some auctioneers do that just because they know no one's going to talk up. No one's going to speak up and say, no, 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 no. I was only at five. You know, I don't want to spend $15. It's a little bit different than just being a fast auctioneer. If you guys catch my drift, you've been to auctions, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, I'm not really worried about it, but it's it's bad taste. Uh, if you're an auctioneer out there and you do that stuff, I tell you right now, you should probably quit it because it's going to be a rough rough life if some people start to leave you google reviews and they get really you know nasty with you or call you out in person like that is just you don't want to ruin your business over poor business protocols i would say that because i know a lot of companies out there a lot of auction companies have bad reviews because people have done that in the past so uh just be aware of that also if you're going to auctions just be aware of that kind of stuff that happens i did end up spending like what 64 dollars. i did grab a ton of box lots Small stuff like this, glassware, you know how it is. The typical, usual. Planters. Um, got some Crocs. Got a nice door, or this is actually, I think, that's a decanter stopper. Got all these wrenches, a lot of different wrenches in there. I got a bunch of Christmas stuff as well. I figured I'll probably bring this up to the flea market tomorrow and try to sell it. Someone actually gave me a bunch of stuff they were like, I don't want it, so I'm going to just throw it on your pile. I was like, all right, but I don't really want to take it because I didn't know if you had to take everything, but I pretty much took everything I bought because that's just how it is. Some people do picker's rights. Some auction companies make you take everything. Like I said, every company is different. Everyone does business differently. Just be aware of that. Moving on to the side, I did grab this machinist box. As you guys saw, this thing is loaded. Got some smalls. Um, I don't think I'm going to be bringing this up tomorrow. And the reason why is because I really wanted to see what was in here. Like, I don't want to sell this whole box for 50 bucks if there's $100 in tools in here. And I really don't want people to cherry pick me and, you know, take out, you know, like, let's say this thing's worth $10 on eBay. I don't want people, like, to take out that, 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 and then, like, say, would you take three bucks? Because I just kind of over that i think you have to kind of be aware that people are going to do that cherry picking is probably the worst thing in this business especially if i was like hey give me 50 bucks for a whole box and then people take out small things and they're like oh well i'll give you five bucks for this i don't like doing that uh, i bought as a lot i want to sell kind of as a lot this is just an empty box i don't know how that ended up there uh that's stuff from the other auction that was the key to the bathroom's toilet i forgot what this was um it was something that wasn't really too important, but it was kind of neat. I can't remember, that's for a pipe threader. These are all Allen keys. We have a nice pair box. So, some cool things. I uh, think I'll do all right. I bought a lot of like lots for a dollar. That's all that. Don't even know what I'm buying. Did I buy any jars today? I don't remember. Oh, 
all of that, and we got a bunch of little candle uh, candle stands. Some other smalls as well. We got some pewter mugs. These uh, well, that one's not it. Is that one? No, they aren't. Sometimes these are glass bottom. Oh, here we go. I knew I thought I saw them. They're like clear glass English pewter. Interesting. So overall, another very, very fun day. I'm going to probably take this thing out before I uh, pack the rest for the flea market. I'm going to try to bring the rest I have in the warehouse tomorrow and then whatever it does in some way. Either throw out, donate, do something with, use it myself. Because we're down here to the last parts of the year. And I feel like if I didn't sell it by now, it's not going to sell. So... Overall, another fun day. Thank you for coming along for another adventure. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.